Hello guys once again welcome back to another Android app development tutorial. In the last video we already learned about how to listen for preferences change. In this video here I am going to show you how to read the preferences value from the app settings page. The preferences API uses the default shared preferences file available with your app to save the settings. So here I already create an Android Studio project that contain a settings page. Uh, now go to the settings page. So here the app settings page contains some preferences. Here we have a checkbox preferences and here we have two list preferences and here we have another two checkbox preferences. Now I am going to show you how to read these preferences values from the shared preferences file. So first we have to create the user interface for display the preferences values. So here I add some text to view text to view to display the preferences values. These text views display the preferences values and here we have a button. <clears throat> when user click the button, we display the preferences using the text views. Now we need to add this method to the main activity. So here is the method. So before going to read the preferences here I need some variables. So here I add some static final string variables. All these variables indicates the key of preferences available in the app settings page. So these are the keys of preferences available in the settings page. Now here I declare text to view variables. Now we need to initialize these text to view variables. Okay, here I initialize all the needed text to view variables using find view by id method. Okay, now we can read the user preferences. So you can call the shared preference, you can get the shared preferences file from any activity available in your project. So preference manager dot get default shared preferences and pass the context. So now we can read the preferences and display using text views. So first here I read the delete all the message status. Message delete status. It is a boolean value. So string dot values of shared preferences dot get boolean. Now specify key for the preference. It is preference uh, delete all the messages. Now specify the default value. Okay, now we can read the SMS and MMS delete limit. SMS delete limit. It is a string value. So get string. Specify the key of the preference. Now specify a default value. So here I pass 0 as default value. Now I have to do the same thing for MMS also. Okay, so now we can read the preferences for delivery report for SMS and MMS. So um, SMS uh, delivery report. It is also a Boolean value. So get Boolean. Specify the preferences key. Now specify default value. Uh, do the same thing for MMS also. Okay, now we can test our project. So I run the project. So now the project available on this virtual device. Open the settings page. So now this is the default value. First checkbox is true. And uh, here the default values are 500, delivery report true for SMS, MMS it is false. So now we can read the value. So these are the initial values. 
delete message status is true sms and mms delete limit 500 sms deliver report true other mms is false now we can modify some values i change sms value into 150 and mms value into 300 also here i am going to disable sms delivery report but i am going to enable mms delivery report okay now we can read the data again and here is the updated value sms limit now 150 mms 500 300 mms delivery report is now true so this is how we read the preferences values from preferences api i hope you understand the concept